He made uh, the Iowa GOP. Uh, he broke the record as longest serving governor. Um, he set in motion the ability for Joni Ernst to become Iowa's first female U.S. Senator. And he remade and reimagined the lieutenant governor role and uh, groomed uh, Kim Reynolds to be a true successor. Um, so really, it's been a historic six years. And let's go to Governor Branstead in progress. And the department heads and others that make state government work. Your dedication and commitment to Iowa has always inspired me. I was humbled to be recruited back to the governor's office and lead Iowa's economic comeback. And I'm proud that we have accomplished significant, made significant accomplishments over the last six years and four months. Iowans elected us to come back and straighten up state government, and we did it. Lieutenant Governor Reynolds and our entire team have worked tirelessly to bring more and better jobs to Iowa, improve our schools, and give Iowans a smaller and smarter government. We brought the unemployment rate down from over 6% to 3.1% today. And Iowa has the highest high school graduation rate in the entire country. We have a smaller government that is more responsive to the needs of the people. We've dramatically reduced the permitting time for job creators. And we've become one of the best managed states in the nation. Over the past six years and four months, actually 8,169 days, in case you were counting. Um, we have worked tirelessly to deliver more jobs, higher incomes, better schools, and a smaller, smarter government for the people of Iowa. We've worked together to improve our business climate, cut taxes, improve career prospects for our teachers, reduce the cost of health care, protect the unborn, and safeguard our most dearly held freedoms. As I become the next United States Ambassador to the People's Republic of China, I'm proud of what we've accomplished here in Iowa. Iowa is positioned for opportunity and growth, and I'm confident that our next government, that our next governor, is well prepared to lead Iowa to an even brighter future. No one has been better prepared to become governor than Kim Reynolds. I'm thankful for the friendships that we have made throughout the 99 counties of Iowa, friendships that we will always cherish. And I'm grateful for the prayers from Iowans who have encouraged me along the way. There's no better job in the world than being governor of the state that you love. But sometimes we're called to serve in ways that we never imagined. And now I'm pleased to present my letter of resignation as I prepare for this exciting new adventure as the United States Ambassador to the People's Republic of China. So here it is. Okay. Very well, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Terry E. Branstead, do solemnly swear. I, Terry E. Branstead, do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear true, true faith, faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely, 
that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that I will well and faithfully discharge and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office the duties of the office on which I am about to enter on which I am about to enter so help me God so help me God congratulations thank Ms. you Krimba. thank you Mr. Ambassador, if you would sign the appointment affidavit to make it official. Okay. Okay, Judge Collin, thank you very much. Very good. Okay, I think that takes care of it. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, that takes care of it. This is goes to Paul Bates. Final words. Uh, <laughs> nice classic Terry Branstead uh, way of doing business. Um, he leaves office now and is our new ambassador to China. Uh, it's a proud day for the Brandsteads and a happy day for Republicans. But the story, the political story, moves on. And that's where I'd like to go with our conversation here between now and when Governor Reynolds takes her oath of office. As you look at the campaign and the, the politics ahead, is Kim Reynolds the front runner to become, to win a full term on her own? Okay. Yes, she has the strength of the party behind her, even though they will not officially endorse in the primary. Cedar Rapids Mayor Ron Corbett, coincidentally, is in Des Moines today. He